Hi there everyone and this is your Cancer 2020 Love Monthly Forecast Reading with me Chrissy from In The Stars by Chrissy.com. Please do know that this reading goes to all of you who are in the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon and Rising Sign. This is a general reading so please do know that it may or may not resonate and tune in to each and every Cancer people out there so just keep that in mind as we go along. So, um, without any further ado, let's just dive in into the reading. Already pre-shuffled the cards and opened them um, for you to be able to see the images and all of that. So, let's start with our first card, which is the Three of Cups. The Three of Cups is actually a very wonderful card. It has a lot of wonderful energies. It can represent friends or someone in our past, you know, relationships. This is a love reading, so I'm going to be um, doing this reading and explaining the cards that we have over here in the lens of love re and relationships in general. So with the Three of Cups showing here, it has a lot to do with friendship and love, harmony, and some form of companion with that. So this is a very happy-go-lucky kind of card, but with the, um, with the energy of the Five of Wands, um, over here it can mean that you might be in a situation wherein there is some form of um, angst argument or petty annoyances you know there could be some form of friction restriction and problems going on when it, when it comes to a relationship that once was very special or or, or a re relationship that um, that is all good that is all um that gave you a lot of happy feelings you know there is some form of argument right there it could be uh, a relationship between friends or a relationship with someone that you're not exactly in a commitment yet but there are uh, some form of argument that we are seeing here it can also be you know an old person from your past um the Three of Cups is not always about person from the past, but it is definitely someone that you already knew. So you already had a foundation with this person, whoever this is. It could be even a group of people since this is the threes. So um, yeah, we are seeing some form of confrontation, arguments going on, and it could be something that has already occurred because the first two cards always talks about the present situation. What is going on and what are the influences at play especially for the month that we are talking about which is december 2020 when i talk about the present situation in many cases it could be either uh, literally in the present moment or it could be something that is going to be happening very very soon so just keep that in mind now we do have the sun card over here as the basis and the 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 foundation of the situation it is possible that you know this argument um is something that has blown up you know the sun is fire the sun is vitality it's very strong it usually is a very happy card it's a very uh high vibration kind of card it is um but at the same time you know the sun can actually burn and destroy all at the same time especially if um there are a lot of very strong energies going on so it's like it, it gives me an energy here that there is a possible fighting going on um um in the relationship that you're dealing with right now it could be again it could be with a group of friends it could be with a specific person or a partnership that you have right now so everything has been going so good and then suddenly um, it feels as if um, there are cracks that are happening into the situation into the relationship it can also be a situation wherein there's just a lot of intensity well uh, with the five of wands um, usually it is um, depicted as problems depicted as arguments but if i will have to see this in a very positive light it could be just there's a lot of interaction going on between you and a group of people or specific person into the relationship 
However, you know, taking a look with the overall um, cards of this spread, um, the only factor that I can conclude here is that there could be some form of, you know, um, intense confrontation, um, argument, and a lot of uncertainties happening in your life at this time. So we also have here the Seven of Swords, which is at the position of the immediate past so it could be something that has already occurred with the seven of swords over here this can be talking about a betrayal of some kind you know usually it has it is being linked to theft or someone that is very sneaky someone is not completely being honest and maybe you have caught them in the act that is highly possible especially since um with the sun over here in between the five of wands and the seven of swords there could really be a situation situation here in a negative light uh it could be a relationship that um, is risking um, honesty and integrity in mind so it is a relationship wherein someone is not being truthful someone is dishonest or they're doing something in very in very much in an immoral kind of way so it's kind of hard to tolerate this kind of situation i feel especially for a lot of cancer people and a lot of you guys are very much forgiving and with the king of pentacles here this could be the person that you are um, thinking about maybe this is the person that you are in concern about as well however um there's also a possibility that you know despite what you are going through right now you know despite all of the negativity all of the sudden upsets that you are feeling and experiencing there is a possibility that you might be wanting to just forgive the person um it is a very difficult situation because i feel that you're trying to force yourself to forgive someone um trying to force yourself to take care of someone you, you think highly about that person to the point wherein you're actually hurting yourself you're actually becoming more frustrated with the situation and with yourself because you're not um you're not drawing the line you're not making any decisions uh you're just letting things be now i'm not saying that all cancer people are like this it's just that you have a tendency to love a, just a little bit too much to a point wherein you you focus too much on the other person you focus too much on other people and you don't really pay attention on what's happening inside of you or what's happening with your own emotional well-being are you really okay do you feel okay are the things that are they are doing really that much acceptable to you so i just kind of feel that you know this is the point wherein something is breaking inside of you i'm not saying that there is a breaking in the relationship however you are coming to a point wherein you are concluding something whether you are aware of this or not you know that the situation that you are going through right now is not right and you may admit that or you may um, be in denial with it however your body your health um, everything inside of you will know what is the truth and you are going to feel this you are going to feel this frustration you can be um, a martyr if you want however i kind of feel that slowly and bit by bit this month of december is going to be a big revelation to you um, when it comes to how you deal with your relationships when it comes to what's really happening in your personal relationships whether it's just for a friend for a group of people or if they are related to your intimate connections now we have here the two of swords and the two of swords can be a situation wherein you might feel lost you might feel that you don't know what to do and there is there could be a situation of feeling helpless in this scenario as well with a justice card over here um there is a situation wherein maybe you are having a lot of fears you know what is the right thing to do you know that um what you should do basically however you are having a lot of fears that maybe maybe you are being fearful that 
uh, you might make the wrong choice. You might be fearful of what can really happen in the future. And that is the reason why you're not making that next step. However, as we are seeing over here with the high priestess and the hangman, um, this is a situation wherein you are going to find out something. You are going to have some form of awareness inside of you. Uh, you might not make a decision this month. And that's entirely okay. However, you are going to be having some form of awareness. You will find out something. It's like something is being revealed to you um, either in a very intuitive way. It's like you just know your emotions is going to tell you strongly, especially that, you know, the high priestess is a very intuitive and, and a person of high wisdom all at the same time. You're not stupid. You know, um, you have, you know, um, you have the capacity to actually see the future to visualize what can happen next into the situation so if you're feeling uncertain about a relationship there is a problem right there that you need to face and conquer so this is not the time for you to just be passive with this however whether you make a decision or not um, this is a choice that you are going to make However, things are going to occur to a point wherein um, sooner or later you are going to take action or even if you don't take action, something is going to manifest wherein wh wh where the relationship will go, it will eventually go there whether you make a decision or not. So uh, it's going to be irrelevant whether you make a decision or not, but it's definitely going to help if you do this can also be a situation wherein maybe it's not about making a decision but this is about you evaluating something realizing something something that has to be done especially when we do have the two of swords over here this is about you making a decision it does not mean that you make a decision during that that time time frame where we do the reading However, this is definitely going to be, you know, a step up as if, you know, a baby um, trying to crawl, trying to learn how to walk. So you are at that point of your life, especially with how you are dealing with relationships. Now, uh, the last card of the deck, we do have the Nine of Cups. And this is a wonderful card. This is a, a card of emotional fulfillment. It gives us an idea that you are going to treat this month uh, in a very emotionally charged way. Um, it can give us an energy wherein there's going to be some form of emotional satisfaction later on however because of the surrounding cards i see this more as a as a point wherein you are just going to be very emotional and your action is going to be based on what feels good for you what feels better and hopefully that is going to lead you to a, a very happy scenario as well I'm also seeing here uh, overall that this is going to be very reflective when it comes to how you are dealing with relationships and how you are actually loving yourself. I do see that forgiveness is, uh, a, is going to be a big theme for you this month. And this is not just about forgiving the other person, but this is about you forgiving your own self and working on um, the negatives that is happening in your life and also negative self-belief that that maybe you have put to yourself or um, negative belief system that other people maybe your past lovers or people that you know or had the difficult relationship with have place on you so this is a time for you to release yourself with that love yourself again and you know um unite with the world you know be a lot happier and see everything in a very positive life this is what you are um really working on 
you might be at the verge of feeling defeated or feeling as if you cannot do anything you know there is a situation here wherein you feel quite helpless like you cannot proceed and move forward however there is a perseverance kind of energy lingering in this reading it's telling you to not give up it's telling you to not just uh, not allow things to happen not allow things uh, not, and not allow other people to do what they want uh, without your without your consent without you fighting back i'm not saying that you should argue but i'm saying that you need to exercise your own right um, exercise your own um, selfishness i guess um, it's okay to be selfish it's okay to act based upon yourself you know this is a time for you to focus on you not just with other people especially if they have already been doing the work in hurting you it's time for you to to really think about the big picture and think about uh, what can really work in the long run and not just focus on short-term um, events you know it you know it's like maybe you might be thinking that it's okay to forgive this person uh and then for a short term you guys will be okay but in the in the end it's going to be a cycle a, a loop system that repeats and repeats history repeats itself that saying is there for a reason so unless you do something about it to clear everything to fix what you need to fix to confront what you need to confront so that you know um you would know where you are and the other person will have an idea that you're actually feeling this way then there is a chance to resolve things right so yeah um basically there are things that you need to overcome in the relationship there are things and patterns that needs to be broken basically especially negative ones so that's going to be the biggest highlight for a lot of cancer people out there there's going to be a lot of love a lot of emotions coming in and you are going to feel this very much strongly however any decisions that you make or decisions that you don't make do remember that this is not just about fate this is your own decision to make and you know not making a decision and letting things go by is also a decision by itself and i suggest that you know instead of feeling hopeless and helpless um take another look on yourself and in the relationship especially if especially you need to really think if the relationship is worth it of course I, i'm not really seeing that over in this reading if it is worth it or not all i'm seeing is there is a need for you to really evaluate the relationship and really fight your fight for your own right there are things that you deserve cancer so um yeah that is really what i'm picking up in this reading i do hope that this reading gives you insight and clarity to your situation and um yeah thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me if you do want a more personal reading or a specifically reading done for you you can do that by booking a session with me through my website in the stores by chrissy.com and i shall see you by next year <laughs> goodbye